there in the fall, number one, to be, but to be at this point of the season, getting close to the postseason as the number one team in the country. Is the exciting part about that being the fact that you've played consistent enough throughout the, the spring to, to earn that ranking? It is. Um, I think the lowest we've been ranked is four or five, but we did, I think we dropped to three maybe, and then uh, guys fought back and played consistent enough to uh, get the ranking back. But uh, more than anything, it's, it's fun for them and uh, should give them confidence. Is it, I imagine with a, a team like this, it hasn't been very hard to keep them motivated and, and competitive, whether it be in practice or going out in the tournaments. Well, it's a unique group because we have three guys that are individually playing for first team All American, second team All American, Palmer Cup. Um, that so that's motivating them is how close they are to uh, some really some really neat recognitions. Uh, and then our fourth guy, Josh Lee, is he's ranked 105th right now, but he's only 20 spots off from being on the All ACC team of putting a fourth player on that team. So they, they have other things other than the team that are motivating them and helping them right now. Uh, this tournament coming up this week, uh, you've played in it before. Why is it? Uh, why is this one on the schedule? Why is this a, a good one as, as maybe a tune-up for postseason? Well, that's a great question. Um, we have played in it before, but it was in Tampa, and they moved it to North Carolina this year. That the, the host coach Auburn and Kentucky are from this club. The reason we chose to go there is we wanted to get our team in North Carolina two weeks before the ACC championship. So we're going up there, <laughs> similar grasses, similar venue. Um, that way uh, we can just acclimate a little bit quicker, and uh, it's purely as a prep for the ACC championship. You like where the, the, the team is as they kind of get ready for, like you said, it's the postseason that matters, and you like where they're <coughs> kind of rounding into shape there? Absolutely. People keep asking about peaking and what, you know, are we peaking too early or whatever, but every day of practice, it's almost like the intensity gets higher. And I get out to practice with a list of things that we need to do, and I'll look at the players and they're doing it. They're, they're already doing it. I end practice at 4 and I go to my office and they come in at 5.30. So um, they're in a very good spot right now. And then after the tournament, you're headed to Augusta for the Masters. Not only are these collegiate guys doing well, but you have the, these guys at the PGA level who are playing so well. How exciting is it to go watch the, your former players play one of the, the most ex maybe the most historic tournament out there? One of the things I promise every player that comes to Florida State is when you make your first Masters, I'm going to be there on the first tee. And uh, this is Brooks Kupka's first Masters, and uh, I can't wait. I just talked to him an hour ago. He's excited. He's injured, but he's excited. And I can't wait to be there for him. So um, after the round, uh, cooking for him, hanging out with him, and uh, he's staying with Jonas, so staying in the house together. It, it, it's a treat for me. Um, it's great for the program, but more importantly, it's just a great honor for them. For you, know, you've you've been there. You've walked the course. You've been there. What what does it take to, to have a successful round at Augusta? Well, it, Augusta will expose a weakness. We know that. Um, it, it's generally known as a golf course that if you have power, it's going to help. Um, but how you handle around the greens and, and the the putting aspect of it is extremely difficult and challenging. And uh, discipline when they put the pins in certain areas, you you have to be able to know where to hit it, but then you have to be able to execute and hit it there. Um, and, and Jonas Blix is a top five player putter on tour, and uh, that's why he finished second last year. Coach, how much does it help you guys being ranked number one, having guys have success at the PGA level in terms of recruiting, kind of sustaining this program going forward? Well, each player that comes here wants to play on the PGA Tour or the European Tour. That's their goal. I mean, obviously, one in education, it's important to them and their family. But the kids are still, they, they want to be on the professional tours, uh, to, to be at a place where they see, wow, you know, I can go there and that's the way to get, get, I can get there. Quarterbacks come to Florida State because Jimbo's putting yeah. quarterbacks in the NFL. Coach Hamilton's doing a job, obviously Coach Martin. Um, I'm just another coach here that's fortunate enough to do that. If Florida State's had so much success last year in a lot of sports, obviously you mentioned football, soccer national champs, uh, lead eight for women's basketball. You know, so everybody, I can go on and on, but why do you think so many programs have had such a high level of success around here lately? I think it's, I think it's everybody. You know, there's so much in our team between the players, and our players look around and say who all is supporting them, and uh, from sports information to, to the weight training program to the academic support staff, our administration. Um, but 
the other head coaches here are amazing. I mean, I go in a head coaches meeting and you hear the things that come out of their mouth, and, and I think we have the best coaching staff in the country, and I don't see how anyone could argue with that. Coach, can you just talk about this feeling right now? I mean, you got a couple former players playing in Augusta. You guys are not the number one team in the nation. Can you just talk about this feeling right now? Well, it's great. It really is. But but more than anything, the players. You know, it, it, our current players are in a good spot. They they have some opportunities to, to play play for a national championship and ACC championship. Uh, that's great. Our guys that have graduated are, have shown what we're doing here is working, and uh, they're succeeding. So it is good, and um, we. We understand it, it, it's uh, it's just a time time that we're in, and we hope to continue to grow on it. What's your favorite hole at Augusta? Uh, I would think 13. I mean, I just think 13 is a golf hole that uh, uh, require requires discipline off the tee, and and then the second shot, what, you know, what they're going to do with it from there. That's that's a favorite. Um, I, I would easily say number 13.